Welcome back, mountain bike action. Today we're gonna to talk about compression damping. Okay, so what is compression damping? Compression damping is the force resisting the shock compression depending on how fast the shock is moving. It works with the spring force, but spring force is dependent on the position of the fork or shock, where damping is dependent on the speed of the shock. Similar to rebound damping, it's created by forcing fluid, in this case oil, through small ports or valves. Is compression damping important? It's important because it dissipates energy and it basically takes the kinetic energy and turns it into thermal energy or heat. Unlike a spring, which returns all of that energy. Uh, it's important for maintaining control, keeping traction, keeping the tires on the ground. Um, too much damping, it creates lots of feedback that the rider experiences and causes the bike to bounce around or deflect off of the terrain. Too little damping results in a loss of control and blowing through travel. How do we adjust compression damping? two types of layouts that we use on mountain bike suspension. Um, one being like a lockout or climb switch, the other being high and low speed adjusters. In a lockout or climb switch, there's usually two or three positions. Uh, and those positions are based on what you're trying to achieve. So a closed climb mode, more damping, placing emphasis on maintaining stability to avoid you know, pedal induced movement. Then there's a usually an open or descending mode that has less damping where it places the emphasis on maintaining traction, especially on terrain-induced inputs. And there can be a middle position as well for more of a balance between terrain response and pedaling platform. So forks and shocks with high and low speed adjusters uh, it allows the rider to fine tune the damping characteristics for the different parts of the damping curve. So high speed is in regards to suspension dealing with terrain inputs like rocks, roots, bumps, or holes. And low speed, deals with the suspension um, working against rider inputs, would it be pedaling, braking, cornering, pumping, slow speed inputs. The lockout climb switch adjusters, you're usually making kind of on the fly adjustments while you're riding like on the trail, depending on the type of trail. And where high and low speed adjusters, it's usually more of something you spend time dialing in and then can make small adjustments as needed, but mostly you kind of stick with a baseline setting. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Um, click here to see our previous video.